All right, guys, I'm gonna uh, make this video for you all to do just a basic, uh, some basic stretches that I really like. Um, anyways, I'm gonna do a, a full stretching workout, so it gives you guys something to follow if you have no idea what to do. Um, this is the one I particularly like to do after running or if I just feel really tight, especially my lower back or anywhere, my legs, my knees, my hips, so on and so forth. So the only thing that, that I would recommend that you use is some sort of a timer on your phone. On, on, uh, that way that you, you've got a balanced stretch between both sides of your body. And also if we're looking at increasing flexibility, uh, you want to hold the stretch more than 45 seconds. So anytime that I do this on my own, um, I usually do a 60 second stretch. So you guys get to watch me stretch now. Um, uh, hopefully we'll post it on WhatsApp when I'm done. And uh, anyways, it'll give you guys a little bit of something to do if you have no idea what to do. Um, anyways, we'll start. Um, I'll try to walk you through it um, as if you guys were here in class. So I got my timer, I set one minute. I'm gonna start with uh, a hamstring stretch. I put one leg straight forward. I need to make sure that my hip bones are, are uh, parallel to my foot. So right now they're facing off to the side a little bit. I wanna switch them so they're facing my foot. I'm gonna take my hand, actually grab my butt cheek and I'm gonna shift my hip backwards. Just doing that alone, you should feel a stretch in the hamstring. <clears throat> um, pointing my toes back. There's two different ways to do this. The first way that I'm gonna have you do it is I'm gonna have you put your hands behind you and you're actually gonna help push yourself forward and push your belly button forward. I don't like to fold completely at the back. You'll feel it everywhere, but I really wanna focus on the, the hamstring. So let's do it. Nice deep breaths. It should be uh, uncomfortable. It's not the most pleasant thing if you're actually gonna work on increasing flexibility. So. As the time keeps going, I'm gonna keep pushing myself more. And the whole goal is to breathe and relax into it, okay? I don't wanna fight it at all. So nice deep breath, I push into it. <clears throat> 30 more seconds. seconds push a little bit further if you can <clears throat> don't forget to keep pulling your toe back nice deep breaths time <clears throat> let's switch same thing other side okay same thing I want to make sure that my hip is completely um, in line with my front foot toe pointed back take my butt shift the hip back nice deep breath hands behind you and push breathing another important detail too is to make sure that my toes are pointing uh, straight up I don't want to tilt them to the side in or out most of you guys are going to naturally point it out and I don't want you to okay again try to keep your back straight nice deep breaths keep pushing the belly button forward <clears throat> breathe In through the nose, out through the mouth. Five more seconds, keep pushing. And time. <clears throat> Let's go to a uh, piriformis stretch. This is one of my favorite ones. This helps loosen up my lower back quite a bit. Um, I'm laying down, um, let's start with the right leg, so I'm going to put my right leg over my left, my right hand, so it's my right leg over my left, my right hand goes through the pocket, I'm going to grab the top of my knee, my other hand pulls the foot down and it goes on top of the foot, I'm going to put my head back and, and pull.
Okay, nice deep breath. So I'm going to keep pulling my, my leg towards me. I want to breathe. Again, you guys need to focus on loosening the muscle. If it's hurting a little bit, it should be uncomfortable and creating a little bit of pain. You want to make sure that you're not fighting it. You want to make sure that you're releasing. So breathe and focus on relaxing as you pull with your arms. Got 20 seconds left. Nice deep breaths. Keep pulling more. And time. Okay, I'm gonna take the, the same leg. So instead of going directly to the other side, I'm gonna straighten my left leg. I'm gonna take the same leg that was up. I'm gonna bring it all the way over to the other side. There's two different ways to do it. It's with straightening the leg and it's with bending the leg. I'm gonna have you guys do a, a 90 degree bend at the knees. So what I want, my right leg is over. I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna push the knee down and I'm gonna focus on taking my right hand and I'm gonna stretch it all the way to the side as I look over that direction. Okay, you get a nice tight stretch in the back. Okay, nice deep breaths. Again, the goal is really, really to relax the muscles. And as it relaxes and it allows you to do it, you're going to push just a little bit further. Again, it should be mildly uncomfortable. Nice deep breaths. Keep breathing, timer. Got 20 seconds left. Ten seconds, push a little bit further if you can. Keep reaching with your arm, keep pushing down on the knee. And time and release it slowly. Okay, let's go to the other side. So same thing, left leg over the right. Left hand goes through and grabs the top of the knee. My right hand pulls the foot down and goes on top. I'm gonna put my head back, I'm gonna pull. And again, nice deep breaths. And you guys will feel, or should feel, maybe feel, uh, the asymmetry. So for example, my left side is way worse than my right. So this hurts substantially more. <coughs> anyway, nice deep breaths, keep pulling. And relax into it, don't fight it. Breathe, pull. Deep breaths, keep pulling. Five. Good, same thing we did on the other side. Straighten your leg. We did the left leg, so the left leg is gonna come all the way over. I'm gonna push down with my right hand and I'm gonna reach all the way to the side with my left. Nice deep breaths, push the knee down. Whew. Breathe, try not to fight it. deep breaths. Halfway there. Keep breathing through it.
Good, slowly release. Could come to a sitting position. Okay, let's go into a, an S sit. So what I'm gonna do, I'll start with, let's start with this leg so you guys can see it better. Okay, <clears throat> my left leg is forward. I'm gonna create about a 90 degree angle at the knee. My other leg is behind me and I wanna make about 90 degrees, maybe a little bit uh, less angle wise, pull it in your, your, uh, your butt more. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to square my hips up. I'm gonna lean my belly button down, okay? To make this tighter, this is uh, one of my favorite little tweaks to this uh, stretch here, is I'm gonna put my elbow on the knee, okay? You can put your elbow or the palm of your hand, and when I lean forward, I'm actually gonna push against it. So I'm pushing towards my foot. Uh, you'll feel it, this is for your piriformis, it also hits the lower back muscles like your QL if you do it right. Um, Anyway, the names aren't so important for you guys, just uh, make sure that you're feeling it in the, in the hip and the lower back. Okay, so let's lean forward. I put my elbow and I lean away. Nice deep breaths. And as the minute goes, I wanna keep trying to fold towards the ground and towards my leg. Nice deep breaths. Keep pushing away. keep trying to drive your stomach into the leg. The more I, I take my middle back and my lower back and I drop it down, the tighter the stretch is gonna be in the hip. You'll feel it in the, the side of your butt muscle. Should. And the more I push away, the more I'll feel it in my lower back. Should relieve some of the pressure. Eight seconds. Time. I'm going to keep my legs where they are. Okay, move it on that. I'm going to take the leg that's back, and right now the side of my foot is put, uh, on the ground. I'm going to take my foot and I'm going to make it so the top of my foot is on the ground and my heel is up. Okay, I need my foot to be in line with my knee joint. So if I keep my foot here, when I go to go backwards, it's gonna twist up my knee a little bit. It's gonna change the angle and put pressure I don't want. So I take, I put it back, and I'm gonna move my butt so it goes closer to my heel. Okay, and now from here, I'm gonna again, I'm gonna lean backwards. So if I'm doing my right leg, I'm gonna lean on my left elbow, and I'm gonna focus on sucking my belly down. I don't wanna arch back. If I arch back and move the hip up, it's not stretching my, my quad anymore and my hip flexors. Okay, so push time and nice deep breath and suck the belly button down. And I'm keeping my hips actually at an angle. I don't want them to face directly up. So it's about a 45 degree angle. It's the exact same angle as the knee, exact same angle is the angle of my, my heel to my toes. So it's all in line at my knee. Nice deep breaths. You could lean further back if you're super flexible. You could try to bring the lower back to the ground. Halfway there. Nice deep breathing. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. slowly come up and let's switch legs okay so my right leg is forward my left leg is back and now we're gonna go to the forward stretch okay so again I'm gonna try to square my hips up I'm gonna fold at the stomach going down and I can put my elbow or my hand and push away from my knee so my weight goes towards my foot nice deep breaths and keep folding in half if you can. Nice deep breath in and as you release, 
the air. You should be able to fold a little bit more. Halfway there, keep holding it. Ten more seconds, guys. Keep going. Nice deep breath. Time. And now we're going to hit the hip flexor and quad on the other side. Oops. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to make sure hips at a 45 degree angle. Um, my... I grab my foot, I put the top of my foot on the ground so it's not on the side. I move my heel close to my butt. I'm gonna go down on the opposite elbow. So I'm stretching my left leg, I'm facing to the right and I'm on my right elbow. Okay, I'm gonna push the time and I'm gonna suck my belly button down. I'm gonna sit into this stretch and really, really focus on drawing your lower back into the ground. You should get a nice tight stretch in the hip, even close up to the kneecap and the top of the quad. Nice deep breaths. I super hope this is recording. I have no idea. Nice deep breathing. 30 seconds. Deep breaths, guys. Keep sucking the belly button down. You want it as, as uncomfortable as you can without it fighting. So relax into it. 10 seconds, go more if you can. Time. Perfect. All right, we did a hamstring stretch. So one minute on, on the right, one minute on the left. We did piriformis, so the laying down like the pretzel one you guys like to call. So that's uh, both sides is another uh, two minutes. We did uh, uh, folding in half on one leg, uh, quad on the other leg, folding in half and quad on the other leg. So, so far we're at eight minutes. Okay, let's go into a split. Okay, we're gonna go as wide as you can. I want the, the um, toes up. I like to take my, my hands, I'm gonna lift my hips up and I'm gonna push it forward. I wanna try to pin my heels into the ground and I push my hips forward as, as high as I can, as far uh, forward as I can. And you'll get a crazy, crazy stretch on the inner part of your legs. I don't like, again, unless you're super flexible and can keep your spine straight, I don't like to fold in, in half. So I wanna put my hands behind me. I have good posture. And again, I'm gonna focus on pushing my belly button forward and keeping my chest up. Okay, nice deep breaths. And I wanna push into it. Nice breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Pushing, breathe. Good, if it starts to ease up on the pain a little bit, nice deep breath, push forward a little bit more. Try to maintain your posture as much as possible. Keep your toes up. Breathe. And time. Okay, this one you gotta release nice and slow. Okay, release slowly, shake it out. Let's go into a butterfly stretch. Okay, soles your feet together. I'm gonna pull my heels into my groin as much as possible. Okay, I, I don't like, again, to fold so far forward. I don't like to grab my toes. I grab underneath my ankles. So that way I can keep my, my heels in nice and tight and then I'm gonna push my knees down as again, I bring my belly button in. I don't wanna fold and try to touch my head to my toes. Okay, so grab, push, and fold. 
You could even grab your toes and push in. Nice deep breaths. Breathe, keep pushing the belly button into, into your heels. seconds keep pushing nice deep breaths time good we're gonna do another stretch I don't remember the name of it um, not important this one's a little weird this time I am gonna put my toes facing out okay depending on how inflexible you are means how how far your feet need to be away and how close your needs to be uh, your knees to be together okay if you're really flexible they needs to be really close together and your feet out nice and wide this is a rough one for me so I bring my legs out a little bit wider okay and what I want to do is I want to try to sit my butt in between my heels Okay, and you'll feel real tight, tight stretch in the hips. Again, I'm not slouching down like this. I'm keeping my posture. You guys are gonna have to play with your own individual way of doing this, okay? Let's go time. And you can see I, I'm putting my hands behind me. If I release it, it's too much pressure. So hopefully by the end of this minute, I'll be able to get my butt to the ground if my muscles release a little bit. So nice deep breaths, I don't want too much. Just this hurts enough. This is a W sit. This is like a, how you're supposed to tell your kids not to stretch to sit. And then we lose it over a long period of time. Nice deep breaths, try to sit further into it if you can. Should release a little bit at least. If it bothers your knees, guys, ease up on it, okay? It's not supposed to hurt. You guys should know the good pain and bad pain when it comes to this. Five more seconds. Time. What do we have? 11 different stretches, something like that. 10, 11. Um, let's go. Um, gonna put your your toes close together I'm gonna sit my butt on my heels hopefully I'm in the frame okay and all I'm gonna do from here is I'm going to go back on my elbows so my knees are out my feet are facing directly down down the back the, the tops of my feet are on the ground I push and I want to arch back and relax the muscles. Okay, the further back I go, the more pressure on the quads. Should make you feel pretty good. And if you get really flexible with it, you should be able to touch your head and even more flexible, your upper back. Getting up from this position sucks, but it feels good to sit into it. Nice deep breaths. And again, if you're not this flexible to do it, you're on your elbows. Okay, and again, try not to contract any muscles. You're gonna breathe and you're gonna relax. This one doesn't take any activation of other muscles to go into the stretch, it's just gravity. So this is a good one to try to breathe through the pain and relax everything in your body should be relaxed. Five more seconds. And time. Okay, come up, shake it out for a second. Okay, let's, um, we're gonna go back to the beginning. I'm gonna do a stretch that's pretty similar to the first one. Um, you could do it, I want you guys to, just to prevent any confusion, 
to do it in the order that I'm showing you. I'm trying to make a video so you guys can actually follow along with my stretches and you can just hold the stretch with the video. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the same positioning that I was before where I go one leg straight, move the hip back, hips are facing. And now instead of just pushing my belly button forward, I'm gonna take my opposite hand, I'm gonna grab the outside of my foot and now I do want to pull and lean forward. I like to pull my belly button into my thigh and nice deep breaths and I wanna twist and pull. Okay, you still want your toes to face up. Try not to move them around too much. I get a good grip and I pull. If you guys aren't flexible enough to grab your foot, you could put your uh, hand on the outside of the leg and I'm gonna twist and lean forward. If you're flexible enough, you're grabbing and you're whew, nice deep breath sitting into it, halfway there. And keep pulling if you can. You can try to bring your head down. My other hand is to push me forward. It gives me a little bit better stretch. Again, nice deep breaths. Time. Good. Let's switch other side. Okay, again, left leg, take my butt cheek, pull it back so my hips are square. I'm gonna take my opposite hand, grab. I'm gonna pull, drop my head. Hand goes and pushes me forward. Nice deep breathing. Nice deep breaths. 20 seconds left. Keep breathing. And time. I want to say that we did 16 minutes worth of stretching. We did hamstring, hamstring, uh, piriformis stretch, lower back stretch, both sides. Uh, what else did we do? S sit, forward, back. So that's one forward, one back on both sides. We did splits, butterfly, W sit, quad stretch. And then another variation of a hamstring and back, other V. So I think we did 16 minutes worth. Um, anyways, this is a much longer video than that because I did some explanation. Uh, you guys, there's zero excuse not to do some of this at least sometimes. This makes you feel good, it loosens you up. Um, and and uh, for the little competition we're doing, this is worth more points than the other stuff because this stuff's really important. We don't cover it so much in class. Um, anyways, uh, hopefully I'm able to post this on WhatsApp and uh, you guys can ask questions and give me some feedback let me know if you want other things um, again this is just a basic like leg routine that I do there's a million other stretches uh, if you guys actually are going to use this video that I'm, I'm posting I will gladly make more um, and I get three points because I just did this shit right now so anyways uh, later guys